Blog Talk Radio. You are now tuned in to Royal Thieves Radio. It's your boy Young Cash Flow from D Block 1017. You know they robbing the industry and bringing real radio back. It's about that time. Let's get it. Let's get it. What's up? It's <laughs> Sunday Scoop with Alicia Dior. You know what I mean? Um, follow me on Twitter at Alicia underscore D-I-I zero R and follow Royal Thieves Radio at R Thieves Radio on Twitter. You know, it's Royal Thieves Radio. We're here robbing the industry to bring real radio back. <laughs> oh, yeah, check out our website and everything at RoyalThieves.com. Um, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, 5.30 that's like 5.30 Denver time. I'm going to be having Rez owner. He's going to be, you know, calling in. We're going to be kicking it with him. I'm going to be basically interviewing him here, you know. This is going to be his first interview. Like, I feel so honored giving somebody their first interview ever. And um, I was really feeling his music. And, you know, indie artists, if you're an artist, please call in. Remember, the phone lines are open. And the chat room's open. We You can listen live. Basically, Six days a week, you know what I mean? Um, next week we're going to be doing seven days. We did have seven days before, but, you know, unfortunate events. But um, six days a week. So um, make sure you call in all the days and request your music and everything. Um, 646-727-2465. I'm going to be, you know, playing some music. So, um so y'all make sure to listen and um, press one if you want to talk with me. Squad, it's your boy Real Dollars, and right now we rocking with Royal Thieves Radio, robbing the industry and bringing Real Radio back. You heard, Squad? Squad, what's up, everybody? Royal Thieves Radio here, robbing the industry to bring Real Radio back. Um, you can check out the website, royalthees.com. Follow us on Twitter at rthees radio. You can follow me on Twitter at alish underscore d i i zero r. And oh yeah, I made a fan page on Facebook. If y'all can just you know click like and everything like that, I'm kind of like I'm hardly on on Facebook, so it's very like rarely updated. So um, y'all can just like type in royalthees radio and um. And just yeah, like I said, press like and everything like that, and y'all can get somewhat of updates. But if um if you follow on Twitter at Arthes Radio, y'all get like basically daily updates and everything. And um check out the website. Like I said, you know Mondays is Lesbianist with um Brielle and K Varsity. Tuesdays is um Last Dynasty show with Mac Nitty. Wednesdays is Power Talk with uh, Mac Drama. From um, Brick Squad, <laughs> Brick Squad Mafia, and um, Thursdays, um, it's gonna be starting next week. But um, it's with um, King Jane Seymour. I mean, King Jane Moore, and um, and Chance, and everything. It's Friday is with um, it's Friday night mix down with um, with King King Davis and um. And Just Cat and um, Saturday is Saturday Shakedown with DJ 5X, DJ Hypnotize, and myself, you know, Sunday. Y'all here, you know what I mean? Shout out to everybody, you know, that's listening online and that's listening live through the phone and everything like that. I'm not, like, I'm not a creepy person. <laughs> Y'all can press one or whatever. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to have, um, you know, Reese Dollar, I mean, Reese owner, I'm sorry, he's going to be <laughs> calling it and everything, and uh, he's going to be pollying it with me, you know, kicking it and shit like that, so, you know, that's how I do, I just like, I just like to have fun and everything, and this is just his first interview, so like I said, I'm like very honored, I'm like, oh my God, that's what I'm saying to myself, but I never tell the person, but um, <laughs> we actually got a caller, let's see, I think this is him, I'm not sure, what's up? Hello, hey, what's up? It's what's up? Who is that? Right here. I'm pretty good, just chilling, you know what I'm saying? Just watching the football games and shit, you know what I'm saying? Who this? Who this? <laughs> My fault. This, this your boy Rez right here. Oh, Rez, I'm saying Rez, man. I'm saying it all wrong. I feel so uh, dumb. Oh, no, it's all good. No, it's all good. I'm doing it how I'm like, Rez, okay, R-E-Z-Z, Rez. Okay. No, it's all good. <laughs> I need to go oh, back yeah. to school. That's what that no. means. 
Yeah, exactly. You know, Res One. You know, we we the crack residue over here. You know what I'm saying? Huh? You you doing crack? You said you don't know nah, about nah, it. I'm not doing no crack. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Don't but, tell uh, nobody going... else though. <laughs> what, what what was that? I said, don't tell nobody else though. You was doing crack. You said. Oh uh, oh uh, no, I won't say that. <laughs> So um, tell everybody where they can follow you on Twitter, um, where you at, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, you can find me on Twitter at ResWonner, R-E-Z-Z-O-N-E-R, uh, all capitals. And uh, you can find me on Facebook, uh, uh, just yahoo.com slash ResWonner, R-E-Z-Z-1-E-R. And uh, you can find me anywhere else by Res1, too, on Google. Just Google me. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you fancy, huh? <laughs> no, I'm not fancy. Oh, nah. you fancy, huh? You said just Google me. That's what I tell people. <laughs> yeah, right. It's a, it's a little bit easier. It gives them everything, you know? Exactly. Because you're like, okay, I'm about to give you my Twitter, my thing. You want me to write yeah. this down for you? Like, exactly. just Google you know, me. <laughs> exactly. You got to keep all the names on your uh, websites the same, too, you know, so it's easier for people to find you and stuff, you know? so. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Do you have oh, a yeah, website? But thank you for... Thank you for having me on the show and everything. I really appreciate it and everything. No, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. It's cool. I, you should have said something to me while I'm steady saying your name all wrong. Oh, no, I didn't know. I forgot to push one. I'm just over here chilling and shit. I'm, like, just waiting to get on. And then you said push one. And I was like, oh, all right, there you go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so um, so you, you're in Denver, Colorado, right? Yeah, so how's, Denver, like, Colorado. So how's the music scene out there, though, like? Uh, the music scene, uh, we're getting popping right now. I think we're having a good year this year. You know, a lot of people are uh, coming out doing videos and getting their interviews in and doing what they got to do to get their self known. You know, they're doing their own uh, movement and stuff like that. But I, what, I, what I'm trying to do is just trying to combine everybody so we could push everybody out and see, you know, I'm trying to do kind of like H-Town type of style, you know, just try to get a lot of more Denver people out there. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of Denver people already doing their thing, though, you know? And they're a little bit unknown, you know, so just got to look them up and see. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. So, like, do you have any concerts where you, like, performing at currently or no? Yeah, yeah, I just, uh, we just been having some shows every couple months, you know. I could be doing shows, like, every couple of uh, weeks, you know, but it just gets so time-consuming and everything like that. You know, you got to give your... Your music break, you know, you got to take that time to learn the music and everything, you know, so you got to plan everything out. I usually try to been doing shows about every every month now, you know what I'm saying? I just yeah. drop the CD. Yeah, you get that so, buzz. Yeah, you know, you get a little buzz going on when, you, when you're doing more shows, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. so um, when did yeah. you realize you wanted to become a rapper? Um, I don't know, probably when I was 18, you know what I'm saying? Just, just recently, you know, I'm 22 right now. And okay. I've just been grinding for the last, like, three, four years and stuff like that. You know, I've always been writing ever since I was younger, but I just didn't know that I was going to try to do it really. You know what I'm saying? It took me until I was 18 to really try to push for it and stuff. And I played around with it, you know, playing, doing freestyles and stuff in my cousin's closet and everything. You know, we just used to be doing freestyles. And now we take the game more seriously. You know, I've been getting a lot of good contacts like you and a lot of other promoters and stuff like that, you know, so – I just been working. That's all I've been trying to be doing. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, um, who inspired you though? Like, um, who inspired 18, that's me? When you wanted to be a rapper, but like, was there something like? Because I know you said um that y'all was like y'all wanted to take it more seriously and everything like that. But yeah. who was like who inspired you? Did you say like, oh, I want to be just like Jay Z, or you know what I mean? When I grew up, I want to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think, you know, I looked up to a lot of, a lot of old school rappers, you know, like I liked a lot of different styles, like some Bone Thugs and some 3-6 and some, uh, some, some new school, you know, I listened to, uh, Bum B and a whole bunch of people, you know what I'm saying? Kirk, uh, Kirk Cobain, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I try to do with my music is I try to uh, get a lot of stuff from a lot of other music and make it your own and twist it up into your own ball. You know, you listen to everything from every sector of the state. You know, you're going to get some little little knockoff off of that. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to build it into your own, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. 
That's good. So but you're no, watching think, the game I, right now, right? What was that? I said you're watching the game right now, right? <laughs> oh, no, I just went outside for a little smoke break real quick oh, and okay. stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I hope you can do two things at once, so watch the game and listen to what I'm saying, because I know a lot of men, they so zoned out, and they're like, huh, what you say? <laughs> I know, <laughs> hey, they're not I know, even right? paying attention. I know, and the game's almost over. I don't even know what's going on either. The Broncos won today, you know, I'm from Denver, Colorado, you know, Broncos won, uh, but, you know. Oh. oh, okay, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't watch, I don't watch football. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have any regrets in pursuing this rap career? Like, do you have any regrets? Uh, yeah, I actually do. You know, it, it interrupted in my real life, you know what I'm saying? I was, uh, I mean, I do my music real anyways, but, you know, I was doing some. I was locked up for a little bit, and then I uh, took a video camera into a uh, work release and stuff like that, and then I videotaped it and put it on YouTube, and then they called me up. They came to my crib knocking on the door looking for me, and then I'm on probation right now, but it's all good, Ooh. you know. I'm trying to do what I got to do. I've been just grinding on music lately because I've been trying to stay out low-key low out of trouble, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely do that. Just stay stay out of trouble. Definitely yeah. do that because you, you do not want to get caught up, and then five years down the line, you'd be like, damn, you know what I mean? I had this opportunity, yeah. but I messed yeah. it up by, you know, doing this and doing that. Yep. Oh yeah. yeah, that's 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 all. That you know, I have I have a few regrets in some of my music, you know, but I had to do what I got to do to get where I'm at today. You know what I'm saying? So you know, that's what I. Everything's a, a learning experience, you know. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. So, um, can you share with everybody one of your, I guess, your high points of your career so far, and I guess one of your low points. What was that? Um, could you share with everybody, like, one of your high points in your career? Uh, I think about right now, you know what I'm saying? I think right now is one of the good points in my music career right now because I've been going to, I mean, I've been doing a lot of shows, and I'm about to drop this CD for my city. You know, I got, it's called uh, Colorado Volume 1. You know, I'm going to be dropping it on Dat Piff, you know, if you want to check it out. You know, we got a lot of different styles down here. You know, there's not a, every song's, different I say you know what I'm saying that's the cool thing yeah. about us you know we have a lot of different styles and stuff you know I even looked at it and when I, I was like wow you know my uh, I didn't know it was all different you know like that but you know it's good it, you know so if you guys want to check that out that's gonna be dropping next week or something like that you know what's the mixtape what's the title of your mixtape gonna be called it, it's a uh, called Colorado volume one and then um Colorado. I just that's hot my, though that's hot <laughs> yeah yeah it's my city right there 303 you know we like it's been crazy down here lately, but, you know, it's a cool city. You know, everybody thinks that we're just, like, horses and, like, stuff like that. You know, there's an inner city down here that, you know, a lot of people know each other, and it, it gets crazy down here, too, you know. But there's there's horses and shit, you know what I'm saying, and uh, all that good shit, you know, but, yep. Oh, wow, Colorado. So there's a lot of violence over there? Uh, no, it's not as bad as a lot of other cities, you know. We still we still up there, but I I think that you know Cali and and Chi Town's taking it on on a lot of the other crazy stuff, you know. Yeah. So it's like, what's like the gang activity like? Are you, like I hate to like single you. Are you in a gang? Uh, nah, I'm I'm single right now, you know. But uh. Don't get in a gang. It. Don't get in a gang. Oh, in a gang. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not in a gang. But, you know, I just do my, my record label stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? We, I used to be a little graffiti artist back in the day and stuff, tagging on stuff. And then I made my way from doing that to doing music to staying out of trouble, you know. And I've been just trying to influence people my age to go do what they could do. You know, if they see somebody like me doing something, you know, then they could do it too. You know, it's just how you look at anybody else doing it. You just got to earn it. You know, you just got to... You, you can't let nobody uh, let you hand you stuff, you know. Like, you got to go out there and get it. You know, people are waiting for handouts on their music and on everything. You know, nobody's going to give you no handouts. You got to go out there yeah. and do what you got to do to be the yeah, person you want to be doing the music, you know. Mm-hmm, most definitely, most definitely. Because a lot of these artists, they think, you know, fame's going to come overnight. It's not. It, yeah. It's, it's not. You have, some to, years, you have to work you know? hard for it. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it just really takes like a regular, out. like kind of like a regular job. You know, you're just going to, you're grinding when you first get on a job, and then you work your way up and you're your own boss, and then you can start hiring on, on other people, you know, and they could be working under you. You just got to earn your ranks in the business, you know what I'm saying? It takes a long minute to get your name out there. You know, and nowadays there's so many artists in the game that it's hard to even keep up, and the music game's moving so fast that people are like, damn, they're up on one mixtape and then the next mixtape, and then it's just like, you know, I heard that uh, Gucci and, and uh, Yo Gotti was beefing over some mixtape stuff, too, because they dropped on the same date and all this dumb bullshit or something yeah, like that. And Yo Gotti. On Yo Gotti. Yeah, it was, ten, you know, ten seventeen, and, you know, yeah. Gucci Man's like, yo, you're not a part of Brick Squad, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but Yo Gotti was like, I'm just doing my thing, too, you know, like, he didn't look at it like that, but, yeah, Gucci's on that other crazy shit right now, you know, he's on that fuck everybody type shit, so that's just what yeah. he's doing. We'll see where it gets him later on, you know, how many people want to fuck with him later, you know. He's crossing a lot of lines and shit, you know. Yeah, like his beef with um Young, what's his name, Young Jeezy? Young Jeezy, yeah. That's he's been fired up stuff for no reason. He's trying to get, I yeah. think he's just trying to get his buzz back up and everything like yeah. that. He's trying to get his new face out there because I heard he getting he got his tattoo removed. I haven't seen oh, no picture he? of it yet. He had an ice cream tat. Oh, shit. Because it looked dumb yeah, on that his ice face. Cream. Yeah, he looked stupid on his face. Like, well, who, who would get that? You know what I'm saying? But everybody didn't trip because it was Gucci, though. You know, Gucci's crazy, so they're like, that's what yeah, but say his rap do. career ends. <laughs> his rap career ends. He got to work at the grocery store, just like everybody else. <laughs> right. You know, You're going to scare people shit. with that ice cream, cre- ice cream on his face. <laughs> nah, shit. He, he got it for a reason. He must like it or something. I don't know. <laughs> they're going to be like, you can work in the dairy department. That's exactly what the they're going to say. Uh, selling ice creams and cones and everything. Yep, selling ice cream. We don't do that shit <laughs> over here. <laughs> but, um, Hell yeah. How about we get into one of your songs right now? Uh, all right. Uh, I don't know what uh, which ones I sent you. Uh, you sent me Mobbin. This one? is my crew. Yeah, Mobbin. That's what you want to hear? You can introduce yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll throw, throw that Mobbin on. Get into that Mobbin. Introduce your song. All right, it's your boy Red One. Keep out my song, mobbing off my new mixtape, Resurrection. Hell yeah, check it out. Look, it's a bird. No, no, it's a plane. No, it's a track of fish. Familiar music. This your boy Red One. But if you're on that block, and you got a bad bitch on the side of you, and you got that. I'll be 
holding dope up in my bitches holding like the game of cards and I ain't frozen. I'm in a hot wheel doing drug deals. My ribs got 20 inch heels. I'm stacking big bills. I'm ruthless. Look at the blood diamonds on my necklace. Living young and reckless and I ain't talking about drama. Got these rappers sweating like a fucking song. Cause I'm spitting flames. Fuck you ladies. This is flowing, not no fucking poem. Two shit got me rolling blunt. Going with my top down. Bobbing fast. Turning head. Bitches talking they man be caught blocking my face, be knocking haters rocking, and you know my name popping, and I ain't stopping. You know that ain't an option. You know I'm steady mobbing. Got the streets talking. They know who I be. R B double G. The dawn of the D. That B three o three. This is that. See the boat key and two we in the street. You are now listening to Royal Thieves Radio, robbing the industry to bring real radio back. Hey, what's up, everybody? On the phone, Reeves, right? Reeves, Reeves, Reeves. Reeves. <laughs> you right? It's all good. I was like just about to like say the... it too. I was like, I, am I saying the wrong? <laughs> nah, it's all good. You can follow him on Twitter at r e z z one e r, and I'll follow him on. Well, you can't follow nobody on Facebook. But, um. <laughs> yeah, you could you could like me on Facebook though. You could uh, look for me R E Z Z One E R uh, official music page. Oh, okay. Let me. I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna like that page. <laughs> All right, I know cool. a lot Thank of you. people, you know what I mean, are listening and everything like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, they listen to online and everything. I see, you know, a couple of people listen to oh, online. Oh, yeah, shout out to everybody out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, t- I told people, hi, the chat room is open. Like, if you want to say something, you can say something. Like, I told Hell people, yeah. hey, and they didn't respond back. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. <laughs> They're probably scared. But, um, but yeah, so um, I noticed that you have, like, a lot of tattoos. And everything. Yeah, what's, yeah. um, what's your one significant tattoo? That's uh, like your favorite the, tattoo. Probably the one on my arm in the picture on the on the uh, website. You know, that's probably one of my favorite ones because, like I said, I grew up doing graffiti and everything like that. And so it just to get it tatted. You know, I was I stopped doing graffiti around that time, so it just you know, and then I started doing my more of my music. You know, so. That's one of my more significant ones, but I try to keep a lot of tattoos significant, you know, try not to do too much stupid shit, you know, people be tatting their bodies and doing some dumb shit, like writing on them like a little kid or something like that, you know what I'm saying, so. Yeah. But. So do you, um, are you, are you a tattoo artist as well, like, or no? Uh, yeah, I try to do my tattoo thing, you know, I was doing my tattoo thing and then, you know, I, I just been doing more music lately, you know, I try to just been, you know, it's kind of hard doing two, three things at once, you know, when you're doing everything, you know, you got to do and everything. So it's hard to do everything you got to do, so. Oh, okay. But, how, yeah, I love the tattoo scene, though. That's one of my scenes, you know, like like you said, if I ain't doing, if if I ain't get big or nothing, if Gucci's going to the fucking uh, shit, you know, I'm going to be working in a tattoo shop or something like that or doing something, you know, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. I don't have no tattoos. <laughs> oh no, you don't want to get tatted up. I don't. That's I don't cool, know. How I think I about people my like body. that. Huh? Yeah, that's cool. I think about people like that all the time. I'm like, you know, there's people out there getting tatted all the time, but there's also then people that don't get tatted, and some people think that's more sexy than getting tatted. You know, some people are like, oh, she don't have tattoos. That's that's better. You know. 
Yeah, because I don't know. I want a tattoo on my foot, but I don't like pain, oh, and yeah. I don't. I really don't want to mark up my body. That's how. I, that's how I feel. Hell yeah. Oh, that's no. what's up. So if you can date e- any female in the game, who would it be? It could be a rapper, actress, singer. Uh, damn. Let me see. Uh, damn. Let me see. Probably, I don't know, Nicki Minaj is bomb, though, for real, though. Like, I don't know why, but there's a lot of bomb artists in the game, though, but even in the, like, rap, I mean, in the movie industry and all that other stuff, but shit, to name them off top, I don't even know. I'm not I'm not good with names, either. I'm just, like, once I see them, I'm like, oh, that's that person right there. You know what I'm saying? So, Nicki Minaj? Nah, come on now. Another person. All right, all right. <laughs> let me see, uh... Oh, I forget that girl's Shoot, name. I uh, wish I could date Nicki Minaj too. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe like I like I used to like Melissa Ford back in the day. Do you remember her? Like yeah, the video, that's the video model. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, oh, okay. I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of bomb artists. I mean, uh, people, girls in the game. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. <laughs> So, if you were stranded on a desert island, what is the CD that is a must-have you will bring with you? Shit, I think uh, MP3 or my phone, you know what I'm saying? That's, just, you know, you need that for everything. You know, if I, if I get lost, I can hit somebody up on Facebook and be like, help, oh, come get me, <laughs> you know, or anywhere, you know, shoot. They'll find me digital with the GPS and all that good shit. Oh, um, this um, actually a person that said giving a shout out to giving you a shout out because you putting on for Denver. Uh, what's his oh, name? Yeah. Smoke Dro still on? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's the boy. Shout out, shout out, my boy right there. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, there's a lot of good artists in Denver though. You know, we got a lot of good artists in the game. I think doing their thing. You know, it's just we've been doing. A lot of good music these last years, but we've just been overlooked, you know, and we've just been trying to keep grinding, you know. It's just been down here, there's a lot of haterism, you know what I'm saying? People hating on each other and just they don't want to see somebody else shine or get the title or whatever, you know. It's just like, who cares, you know, just we all got to grind and get up there and make the name for Denver, not you, and then you come along after the, the city, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. But um then so um I really thought Denver nobody like was being bothered. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. It's really like Denver to me is like a Montana. I didn't know people lived there. <laughs> that's that's how Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like our city still hasn't built its name for itself yet, you know, so it's hard to get an artist out there to put on for the city when the city's not known first, you know. The city's been getting more known lately. But that's just because some activities, you know, with the politics and Obama visiting down here and all this other stuff, you know, for the election and all that. But, you know, we just we just been putting on these last couple of years. I think we had a good year this year. A lot of artists on, on my Facebook, you know, said we're going to have a good year this year. And we actually did. You know, a lot of people are doing their own things and getting more shows with other artists, bigger artists that are coming from anywhere they get on shows with them, you know, and stuff like that and work their way up, you know. Yeah. Because I'm like, Denver, I didn't even, like, people living in Denver to me, it's just like, <laughs> yeah, like, people living in Oregon, <laughs> like, <"Whoa?"> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, people think it's like uh, cowboys and shit like that down here, you know, but there's a small <laughs> inner city down here that that's really popping out here, you know what I'm saying? You know, Denver's, like, pretty big, you know, it's not too big, but, you know, we're on the middle of the map. If you look at us on the map, we're in the middle, so we just got to keep grinding and I think, you know, get our names out there and stuff all different ways. You know, once Denver gets a buzz in the music scene, then people are going to start to get more hit up, you know. Maybe uh, bigger record labels will look at us more uh, uh, legitly, you know what I'm saying, so. Yeah. We actually got a caller. Let's see what's up. All right. Four eight zero. what's up? What's happening? At least it's not drama. What it do? Let me talk about Denver. Denver is popping. Oregon, yeah. Pops. The West Coast is always popping. I was just in Denver. I got my artist, uh, who was uh, Fatal, was up in there. We got the Ford yep. Records up in there. We got uh, Creation. You know, yep. Denver is popping. 
Yeah, I don't know what folks yeah. are talking about. Denver is a, is a, is a Rocky Mountain state. It's re- Colorado is a western state, and the West Coast is always popping. Denver is not one of the largest cities, but it pops. They got some of the tightest trip clubs, the baddest women up in there, mm-hmm. and the coolest dudes. Oh, yeah. When I was up yeah. in there, I had nothing but love up, up in Denver. Denver is cracking. What's, what's your name, homie? Oh, my, I go by Res One right there, my, my dude. I know about your uh, artist, Fado. He's pretty cool. You know, I'll be doing his stuff. There's a yeah. lot here. You know, I'll be getting a lot of shit promotion out here. You know, that's how I got uh, in touch with this radio station was from uh, one of your artists on Forbes. You know, his name is Kid Bricks or something okay. like that. Yeah, oh, yeah, Kid you Bricks know, so. go hard. I'm salute to Denver, man. Y'all, y'all go hard up, it, up in there. I just want to allow you to listen. So today in L.A., uh, Brisk Hall Monopoly is performing, and tomorrow they're going to be here in my town in Phoenix. You know, we're going to be going hard. So anyway, I just call in to salute and show my support for Alicia Delore and her show. Oh, yeah. And, you know, oh, yeah, show my love for Radio Peace right, Radio. All day, all day. You can you can mute me. I'm just gonna listen in now, um, Felicia. <laughs> before, before you do, before you do it, before you do it, I'm gonna tell you to do it. <laughs> I no, love you, I girl. Was, uh, you, you cool? If you, oh. you know what I mean. If you wanna okay, some okay, game, okay. Well, then I'll stay on and chop it up. You want to yeah. spit some game with him, you know what I mean? He's a guest Hell and everything yeah. like that. This is his first interview and everything, so. Hell yeah. Well, hey, hey, homie, what you got going on in your camp then? Tell me about yourself. Shit, right now I just, uh, I've been signing an artist to my label right now. You know, I've just been trying to get my label out there more. You know, i just been, I just dropped my, my solo CD, you know, it's an album. I didn't really do a mixtape this time because I've been dropping three mixtapes and I wanted to hit them with an album and stuff like that. And I've been just getting shows. And uh, I'm about to drop this CD for uh, my city right now, too. It's called Killerado. And just, you know, just been grinding like that, you know, just trying to get my other well, artists well, out there. Um, let me give you some advice. Uh, continue your buzz, build your numbers up, and, um, and, oh, yeah. and your fan base grow. Make sure you put your songs on, on iTunes, Amazon. People like to, like to see if you're selling. That's the key. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's not the views and the downloads. They want to see if you can make money. You feel me? You exactly, can make money, exactly. people people will come and fuck with you, man. That's the key ingredient. Yeah. And and so you're you're a manager, you're an owner, CEO, what's your position? Yeah. Uh shit. I just I try to run everything. Well not everything, you know, I got a little help with my CEOs and stuff like that. You know, my then my family, you know, we try to work with the artists and get them in the lab as much as we can and you know, try to okay. get their CDs and get their covers and and shows well, together, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me ask you, on the artists that you're bringing under your camp, are you bringing, the, because of, of the straight talent, are you making sure they got budgets with them, too? Yeah, I, I feel like some some of my artists got talent. You know, I feel like, you know, most I mean, most of them do. You know, they're doing their own thing. Well, no, 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 no. Maybe, let me, let me, let me say, say, re- reiterate my question. Are you making uh-huh. sure they come into you with money in hand? Oh, no, that's what I've been working on more, more recently. You know, I was trying to get oh, that okay, money well, in then, hand. I'm, I'm, I'm going like to I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something. It's going to be a hard, 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 hard role you travel. You might not fail because, you know, in this business, it's 99% business, 1% talent. Talent is a factor once your foot is in the door and you get inside that door. Before that, you need money, man. You need money for for promotion. You need money for production. I mean, you need money for features. You need money for shows. You got to buy into shows. And this is, I don't care how good an artist is. If he ain't got no money, I can turn out some badass talent. And and I feel bad, but I can't, unless you're you're willing to foot the bill, um, they got to, you know, in order to play, you got to pay. Unless there's there's something called alternative financing. You know what I mean? My mom, you heard of paying other people money. I'm talking about other people's resources. You know what I mean? Uh, Let's say that, let's say, let's say you got an artist. He has a thousand fans. He can act his yeah. thousand fans off for ten dollars. Bam! He has a budget. You follow me? Yep. There, 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 exactly. there, 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 there is power in numbers. It's all about mathematics. So, yep. so if you want your label to be a success, man, take it from one who who started with nothing, had a small money in it, into it. I don't have no regrets, but it, it hit my wallet hard. Now I, oh, yeah. I learned my lesson. I if you don't I, if you don't have the money in hand, get at me when you do. But hopefully I'll be available. Yep. It's not about getting no talent, but that's just the nature of the game. And it sucks. I wish it was about talent, but it's not. It's about about the business, and the business is about the money. Exactly. There's a lot of artists in my city. You know, they have a lot of tight skills, you know, but they ain't getting on wax. And if you ain't getting on wax or doing anything about your skills, nobody's going to see it. You know, you can be the dopest rapper 
nobody's getting you out there, you ain't going to be heard, you know? So, exactly. Just, it's about networking, brother. They got to get out there. They, and they, it's not about just being behind a mic in the studio. That's fine and dandy. Yeah. But they, they need to be hitting up those concerts, those after parties, hitting up that VIP, yeah. talking it up, chopping up with someone. You might you might chop it up with somebody and, and build a report and say, hey, man, you know, I got to see you, man. What, can you come? You got time, man? Or, or man, I got this track, man. We will, I'll, I'll jump on it. Just email it to me. You know, you never know. You got your free feature. Exactly, exactly. That's how it works. You know, you just make them contacts, and that's what I've been doing this last year is making a lot of good contacts and stuff like that, you know, and it's just, I, I know it's a grind, you know, it's going to be a hard road, like you said, you know, but if I got to push, you know, there's some people that push so hard, you know, and they're at 35, 36 years old, and they ain't done nothing with their music, and they're just sitting exactly. back like, damn, you know, i done all this hard work for nothing, and I'm sitting at home working at Mickey D's because I wasn't getting my shit together because <laughs> I was working at make, uh, doing my music shit so much, you know. Well, you, that's what's called a balancing act. You know what I mean? I tell people, yeah. and this, people tell me, do not give up your day job. If you're working with your yeah. don't stop. I have a, I have an artist, man. She had a bomb-ass job, but she was so passionate into her music. You know, I signed in. She quit her job and everything. Now, check this out. She only got one mixtape, and everything else was a limbo because life interferes. You know what I mean? Life yeah. always comes comes a call it. And now she's exactly. back to work in, and now we got to start back at ground zero. But I'm pacing. Another, another word of life, whatever you start, make sure you finish. Oh, yeah, you know most saying? definitely. Because um, the, the, the race is not given to the swift or the faint of heart, but he or she who endures to the end. Coming in first place don't make you the winner. That makes you the, the champion. Finishing yeah. makes you a winner. You're all winners. Everybody across that finish line is a winner. You follow me? Yep. Oh, yeah, salute. Mac Drama in the building. Oh, yeah, it's good to hear from you, man. I heard a lot about you, though, down here. You know, you got a big name down here and stuff like that. You know, Fado been repping you hard and everything like that, you know. So that's what's up. Oh, yeah, like I said, I was up there. They showed me nothing but love in Denver, man. Hell, yeah, yeah Denver. I, I will move, I will move like, except for the snow, man. Oh, I know, right? It gets chilly down here. That's one thing about us is our weather's always fucked up. You know, one minute it'll be hot, and then it'll be cold the next minute. But y'all got some gorgeous women up in there. My God, those Denver chicks are fine. Hell yeah, we got chicks from other cities coming in too, from like H Town, mm -hmm. Cali, you know, because a lot of people yeah, are coming. Well, well, you know, y'all you know, you know, West West Coast city, so I mean, I used to go to yeah. Denver when I was a kid. I was, you know, in the summertime, chop it up. We, you know, we, you know, we do our West Coast ride. We we hit up, I mean, we go from Seattle to Portland, Idaho, then we shoot down to Colorado, Utah, then we come back to Nevada, Arizona, Cali. You know how we do it, New Mexico, and all that shit, man. You know how we yeah. do it on the West Coast. Hell oh, yeah. And, but at least uh, you, you said something about Portland. Portland pops, maybe. Portland is one popping ass town. To be honest, with you, I don't Coast care. Line. Like, like we, I live in Arizona, and we, we got cowboys out here, and we still pop. What are you talking about? We got Scottsdale, we got we got uh, Tucson, Phoenix. The only Sedona, thing y'all got uh, is the Grand, Grand Canyon. Canyon. That's the only thing y'all got. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, we got Jersey. Y'all lost half y'all shore because of that Hurricane Sandy. Do oh, I live? At the, do I don't live by the Jersey Shore anyway, so it really oh, well, doesn't well, matter. In a, in a couple more years, you will. Um, in a couple more hurricanes come. A couple more hurricanes come, you will. Like when the earthquake in Cali, I'm gonna have a beach for a property in Arizona. So Pennsylvania gonna have a beach too once Jersey get water. Jersey's not but an island anyway, except for the little extension that connects to uh, 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 New York. The rest of Jersey, yeah. you got you got that river, and then you got the ocean. Oh, okay. It's a river that separates Jersey and PA. Oh. Uh, um, I got a question for you. Um, I got a question for you. Alright. Um, um, it's from um, <laughs> Just Cat. You can follow her on Twitter at Here Puss Puss. Um, they said Ooh. Denver has the good butt. Is it the true? Good, is is it butt? legal? Oh yeah, we do. Shit, that Colorado butt right there. You know, it's is like, it legal? We got this, yeah, it's legal it down here. You know, it, it grows out there. Wow. I had, yeah, a, I had a white dude that gave me like like twenty pounds of He just went and picked it out in the in the woods. Oh, it's yeah. so goody goody. It's not, it's not that bomb bomb, but it's goody goody. Yeah, Cali's a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? They got, but I think they're nah, prices bro, are a little nah, bit bro. higher. But Washington State, man, we got the Washington. bomb. You know that? We got all that oh, red, yeah. all that green. Washington has the best butt in the country. Hell so yeah. It's le so um. It's legal, right? And um, yeah, it's legal be down here. We driving got, around with it and everything like that. And what's the uh, like? You could have a gram or so on you, you know, smoking medicinal, you know, for for you know, for your uh, cataracts or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But 
you know, we got shops at every corner. It's like liquor stores out here. You know, you go to every corner and there's weed shops. You go pick up some bud, but you need a license, so that's the only thing. It's not like you could, but it, but you can't find yeah, no bad bud down there. That's the same all over. Washington, uh, Colorado, Arizona, and Cali all has um, that law where you can, you know, if you're uh, for whatever medical reasons you you can smoke weed. I got a weed card. Everybody oh, gets yeah. a weed card. It's easy to get. It costs hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> Hell yeah, you could get that shit like hey, one, two, hey, three. Hey, you could grow, you could grow up to ten. Uh, out in Arizona, you could grow up to ten pounds worth of weed. I don't know how many that ounce is. You could grow it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't oh know yeah, about the, all that. your boy. His name was Smoke Dro. Hell yeah. Smoke Dro. I like that name. Hell yeah. And um, I'm, he I'm said burning one right now on my porch. He said, he said, shout out to the <laughs> Denver too. weed. Hell yeah. Shout out the Denver Colorado weed, you know what I'm saying? We we love it out here, you know, it's just been I've been smoking draw before it came out here, but you know, now that it came out here more it's just like damn, you know, shit, I could get it anywhere now. And another another feature about Denver, man, if if she's out in the skin, I don't know the East Coast people do, but we do on the West Coast. Aspen be popping, man. Go to Aspen Aspen winter time. Aspen. Yeah. Aspen be popping. Ooh. Oh, yep, yep. Like, hey, what yeah, is, what, 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 what it break, like spring break up in that bitch, man? But with snow. <laughs> yeah, there snow ain't running. nothing out here yeah. to really, like, for uh, for uh, when it gets cold. Our Vail? Vail be popping, too. You ever been to Vail? Oh, yeah. Vail, Colorado? Yep. Yeah. Exactly, yep. They get popping out there, too. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Hold up to the Colorado. You know, we doing it, you know, so that's what's up. Yeah, I got a daughter up there, man. Her name is Gianna. You can buy her over. She's a... She, she used to uh, dance. She's a model. She's real gorgeous. Hell yeah! You know I got a lot of people on my Facebook. I got I got so many people I don't even know. You know I could even have her on my Facebook and I don't even know. But shoot, did she live down in Denver or Aurora or anywhere like that? Uh, she lives in Denver. She goes to the university oh, yeah. up there. Hell yeah! That's yeah. what's up. And so I, I think hey, it hey, is do you, do you know Creation, homie? Yeah, I know. I fuck with Creation all the time. I wrap it up with him. You know, he always shows me love, and I show him love on his music and everything. Yeah. You know, he has a it's pretty cool dude, you know? Yeah, yeah, he, he's a writer. Oh, hey, yeah. I, hey, are you Latino, homie? Yeah, I'm a Latino, man. Yeah, Latinos got it on lock up there. You know, yo soy Latino también porque tú sepa. Latino con color, Latino negro. You know, uh-uh. I'm, a Latin, I'm a Latin with black hair. <laughs> oh, English, oh, like, like, Michelle, like English. <laughs> he's Dominican, oh, he's yeah. in denial, homie. She's Dominican in denial. <laughs> I don't Hell know. Yeah. I don't know Spanish. I'm American. It don't matter, but you Domin- you're Dominican too. Yeah, but Dominican. I'm half though. This that's the thing about. It don't matter. You have half. Well, everybody's mixed with something. Oh uh, well, I know, right? uh, I, I'm American at the end of the day. <laughs> you know what I'm mixed with, Elise? I'm mi- I, 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 I'm mixed with, with 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 greatness and with humor. <laughs> All right. On that note, let's play oh, all yeah. one of your songs. We can play Who Wants Beef featuring um, TDK. Yeah, I'm here doing. Oh, yeah, my boy Trigger shouts out, you know, uh, this at Who Wants Beef. You know, it's just off my new mixtape, you know, Resurrection just dropped in July. You know, did pretty good. A little bit, a little bit on that piff. You know, I'm still trying to get my name out there, but go check it out if it's out there. Here it is, uh, Who Wants Beef. <laughs> who got what? Oh, who got beat? Boy, tell me where to meet. I'm a man, so I stand on my own two feet. Me and my team can be beat. Flow as hard as concrete. No competition to compete. Keep talking from that back seat, but y'all incomplete. Y'all obsolete. Off beat, not get it. Top sweet, and I'm in it. Bad ticket, she with it, but I hustle. I'm committed. I'm stacking weed. Sausage meat. Trick or treat, we got food to eat. I'm John Norman, you PC. I'm Mark Licky, you sweet tea. I'm getting older. Crow seat, but my young boys, they got the heat. Got 21's, no jump street. Real go get us, no BC. Washington's like DC. Pay for no receipt. Stand up for what you believe. Don't be naive because they deceive. Don't misperceive what you receive. Work hard, you will achieve. Keep the faith when you're in need. And go hard when they misread. No stopping now, so proceed. Never follow, we in the lead. My products always guaranteed. We run this, bitch, no stampede. 
Who want what or who want be? Boy, tell me where to meet. I'm a man, so I stand on my own two feet. Me and my team can't be beat. Flow as hard as concrete, no competition to compete. Who want what? Who want beef? Yeah, I'm blowing on that leaf and I'm posted in the street. And you know I got that heat. Yeah, I keep that shit discreet. So tell me where to meet your soul of the leaf. I'm stacking dead presents, no nixing. Fruit punching leans, what I be mixing? This beat I'm remixing. I'm looking for a vixen who can suck a dick, no licky lick. I'm talking super thick. Pussy's flame, no dick. Don't run lip. You'll get a hollow tip, a full clip. Live. Don't trip, I'm on that set trip If I let it rip, I ride your ass to dip Before you meet your dead minds I take your snap back cause it's my size I spit no lies, you best realize Snakes in disguise, don't trust no eyes These other motherfuckers lies I spit the truth in this booth, yeah Who want what, or who want be? Boy, tell me where to meet I'm a man, so I stand on my own two feet me and my team can be beat Flow is hard as time Create no competition to compete I see you cooking up that beef On your grill, homie Fuck how you feel I got little homies that would kill for a meal Cause they heartless Shit's real I gotta stay focused Lame trying to take me out They bout what I'm bout I'm after that title bout I'ma take a different route On that paper route These rappers I be roasted Me and my fam, we be toasted. Yeah, my movement in motion. Call it locomotion. I got pure devotion and I bees in the trap. Yeah, I bees in the trap. That's my promotion. You ain't seen crackhead strung out with no emotion. I ain't boasted. This real life. I'm blessed to say I'm here today. I got homies that passed away. I got passed away. My clothes they praise. Amen. Yeah, boy, I'm amen. Who want what, or who want be? Boy, tell me where to meet. I'm a man, so I stand on my own two feet. Me and my team can't be beat. Flow as hard as concrete, no competition to compete. To compete. To compete. To compete. Team can't be beat. Flow as hard as concrete, no competition to compete. Everybody, we're back. You know, Wealthy's Radio here. Rob at the industry to bring real radio back. What you had? You was um arguing with somebody when you made the song. Who won beef? <laughs> no, I just, <laughs> I don't know. It was just like a lyrical battle, you know, some type of way. You know, it was just like who won beef with my crew. You know, it was just repping. You know, like but... he was about to, he was about to go out there and start fighting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Song. I like that song. Hell yeah, that's what's up. Thank you. That song is that song is tight. It's like trap, but without that southern draw. That shit yeah, is yeah. See, that's the thing about Denver is that you know we be we mix up a lot of different styles. I heard we got that fast mm-hmm. West Coast style, like yeah. I'm telling you, that, that sound like a that sound like a, a whole new style music right there. For real, that's it. Then it does it. I'm bopping my I'm bopping my head. I'm feeling that, bro. Hell yeah! Thank you, bro. I'm, I appreciate that a lot. Oh, maybe you could play that song again. Um, on your Wednesday show, Matt Drama. Yeah, load it up there. Well, it's in the queue, right? Isn't it yeah, I'll yeah, hit you up, too. It's called Who Want Beef? Who Want Beef? beef. Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure I play that, homie. All right, for sure, and I'll check out your station, too, man. For sure. I'll, yeah, all right, same on, number. He's on here on Wednesdays from, you know. Um, all right. Yeah, 7, what is from, it? Uh, from, say the East Coast time, because I know everybody changed their time zone. We different. Right now, I'm yeah. the same time as Denver. Before, I was the time in L.A., but everybody changed. L.A. went an hour behind, and you guys you know, went, went an hour behind. But Arizona can't stay the same. Like, right now here, it's uh, 6.15. What time is it in Denver now, man? Uh, it's freaking uh, 6.15 right now. Okay. Yeah, it's the yeah. one mountain time, like you guys. Yeah. So it, yeah. It, it, it's, it's at 6 o'clock your time uh, and on uh, Wednesday. For sure. Yeah, I'll check it out for sure. All right. So that'd be 8 o'clock um, Eastern time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so um, is there any advice you would like to give to any young aspiring artists like yourself? 
Um, I would just say, you know, just keep grinding and just, you know, just keep pushing and pushing, you know, believe in yourself. If you're not, if you don't believe in your music, then nobody else is going to believe in you. You know, go make your connections. You know, you got to uh, talk to people, work with other artists, get their connections. You know, just try to fuck with everybody that's doing stuff and stuff better than you. You know, if you're trying to make your way and you know you ain't the best artist where you want to be, then fuck with them fools that are, are, uh, doing a little bit better than you and maybe you'll work with them and get on top with them. You know what I'm saying? So it's just about working. Yeah, most most definitely. Oh yeah, um so um I want you to describe these artists in one word. Okay. All right. All right. So, um Fred the Godson. Who? Fred the Godson. You know him? I kinda know him but I I, I don't know. No, I don't know him too much. Oh, okay. So <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly. Uh crazy. <laughs> um Chief Keith. Uh blowing on Keith. <laughs> <laughs> A little scrappy. Hyphy. I get a female Azalea Banks. Sexy. Iggy Azalea. I don't know that one. That um, that's the girl that um, the white girl, that's in Grand Hustle. Oh yep yep she's she's pretty sick I like that shit. And um, one more one more, I'm thinking of one. <laughs> I'm thinking of one. I'm thinking of one. Um, I guess Benzino we could say him. <laughs> Benzino I, I don't know I guess he's triple X style I guess. Doing his music, his money. All I see is dollar signs with him still. Yeah, I guess. And um, and who are you voting for? Oh no, who he's the voting? source actually. You know, he's the yeah, source. Yeah, he's the I source. I got confused. Yeah, exactly. But uh, what would you say? And who are you voting for? Oh, I'm voting for Obama. You know, it's a pretty close race out here uh, in Denver. I think it was like 48 percent Romney and 50 percent out here. I mean, uh, for Obama, I just cast is my ballot. A- I don't mean to, you know, get off topic, but there's a lot of KKKs out there, or no? There's none over um, it that way. There, there is, there is a few out here, you know. Like it's kind of low key, you know. You don't hear too many people talking about it or nothing like that. But sometimes you go around some neighborhoods, you might see some super shit. I know when I was locked up, I heard a lot of racist stuff, you know. But that's just how it goes in jail, you know. People talk stuff about Mexicans, blacks, whites, you know. Just everybody talks stuff in jail, though. Oh wow. Wow, that's crazy. But um, is there anything else you'd like to um tell us? Like, do you have a website coming up or anything? Or um, yeah, I do actually. I got a website coming up. It's in the works right now. You know, one of my artists that I have on my label is working on that. His name is Mike Motive. Shout out, you know, shout out to my boy Dapper Mike and Desert Antidote on my team. But yeah, we got the website coming up soon. You know, he's working on it right now. He said about another week or so. But for now, you could just look me up on uh, Facebook at uh, rezz one er. Or on, like I said, just Google me. You'll find my Twitter or my uh, that pit for anything about me. Really, you know, I pop up pretty easily. Oh, okay. I'm gonna play. I'm actually gonna play your last song. This is my crew, and everything. Right. And um, I I really appreciate you know what I mean. You being an artist and you know and you doing what you doing and and stuff like that. And oh, I yeah, really I appreciate, appreciate you. you letting me have you know this interview with you. Yeah, thank you, too. You know, I really appreciate it. You know, it's just, it's good for my city, too, you know, so I I think a lot of other people appreciate it, too, you know, so shout out to you and what you're doing and your guys' whole movement. You know, I'm still going to fuck with you guys a long way, you know, so hell yeah. Yeah, and we're on six days a week. Next week is going to be seven days a week. So, you know, we're always here for indie artists. You know, if you have yep. any artists and, you, you know, your friends or whatever, they want their music played, they can just send yep. in music and stuff like that. You send it through the website and everything. Oh, yeah, I got your email still. I got everything uh, uh, saved up, you know, so just in case I got to get in contact. I'll be in contact almost definitely. You know, I'm going to keep promoting your guys' show. You know, if I fuck with anybody, I try to promote them as much as I can when I'm not promoting myself, you know, so when I get that yeah. time and I'm like, oh, check them out, you know. So most definitely I will do that. Yeah, so you want to um, introduce, I guess, this last song? Of yours? Oh yeah, how oh, yeah. Uh, shout out to all my people in D Town listening. You know, it's your boy Rez One. You know, we're gonna end it tonight with my my song. It's my crew for life. Check it out on YouTube. There's a video of it. You know, catch you guys up, Deuce. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Mafia music, familiar music, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> know you can, and that's the truth, we stay stacked up, stacked up, that's what we do, that's what we do, trip my boys with this dance, we the future of the past, make this brain, that's the forecast, kill them again, that's the death, we them strange creatures that never duplicate, our features run the game like leaders, bow down like me to stop for my class, bow down to earth, that's the class, that's the path, I'm a G, like a friend, get some greens for my team, sipping lean, popping beans, with my team, my purple, my team, to get this free, so Lord let us check these fucking jeans. Please believe, got this team for eternity. This my crew for life, like I'm married to shit, like my wife, too. That bury me with this shit at the end of my life. Still repping on the other side, that's for life. Yeah, help me for life. Life, 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 I'll die for this shit. I'll die for this shit. Why? This my crew for life, like I'm married to this shit. Like, if my fucking wife, I'll die for this shit. Why? This my crew for life, I'll die for this shit. I'll die for this for this shit, why? This my proof for life, like I'm married to this shit, like it's my fucking wife, I'll die for this shit, why? This my proof for life, this my proof for life, 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 life. Hey, what's up everybody, you know it's Royalties Radio, Alicia Dior here, Sunday Scoop, um, that was Rez Older, um, you can follow him on Twitter at R E Z Z one E R and um you can check him out on Facebook at R E Z Z O N E R. And basically, you know, he was just piling up with me, you know, I was doing him an interview. It was actually was his first interview. He's from Denver, Colorado, you know, they was in the building today. And um shout out to everybody that was listening. And, you know, listen online, and a lot of, you know, his people was listening online and stuff. And, um, you know, shout out to y'all. And um, <laughs> it was, I was looking in the chat room and everything like that, and, um, you know, his boy Smoke Dro, he said, much love from D-Town. Thanks for having Rez on and everything. And Just Cat, she does the Friday show. She was like, have fun rocking out with you. And everything, but she, you know, she had to go, and you know, I thank everybody for listening and stuff. And um, I am doing ninety minutes today. I my throat is like killing me, <laughs> so I decided to do ninety minutes instead of my normal two hours. Um, make sure you tune in, like basically for all the week, the whole week, you know, Monday through 
the whole week, basically. And, you know, you can always call in 646-727-2465. You know, we're here robbing the industry to bring Real Radio back. We're here supporting, you know, all indie artists, if you or a friend wants to submit music and anything, go to mp3 submissions at royalties.com. And you can submit your music, you call in, you get your music played. It's simple like that, you know what I mean? It takes a lot of, you know, if you're really serious about your music and about your craft, you will really call in. And, you know, just to hear your music and everything like that because there's so many people that want their music heard. But, you know, you have to take the initiative yourself. And because, you know, we can't do all the work. So we have a lot of music that's that still hasn't been played and everything, and just send it, and you just call in, it's simple.